Hi everybody and welcome back to another reseller life. Um, I'm Evan. I'm Crystal. <laughs> and uh, we've been MIA for a little while, but uh, we have decided to do a couple videos over the next couple days. Um, we have a few new fans and uh, we've been getting a lot of uh, questions. Where have you been? And um, well, we've just been here. We've just been working, um, keeping busy. Today is family day in Canada. I said Canada Day the first time and we had to go back yeah, over. Yeah. It's not Canada Day. It's cold outside. It's not <laughs> summer. So as you saw in the uh, beginning credits there, um, oh, I guess they're not credits, but uh, the opening scene uh, was uh, Lights in Napanee, uh, Ontario, and just us driving through uh, probably around the Peterborough, Ontario area. Um, just a... Uh, Typical Canadian winter day here, I guess. So, um, but yeah, so we have just been busy selling. Um, we sell on Amazon, Etsy, eBay, um, now Facebook, Kijiji, probably other things I'm forgetting about. But uh, yeah, that's what we've been doing. Um, just keeping busy with that, I guess. We wrote some things down just so we wouldn't forget anything because I think it was about November or early December was the last time we talked to you guys so uh, we won't go that far back but uh, a few things that have changed um crystal has decided to go back to school so she mm -hmm. started school in january so she's doing that um taking office of men office of men <clears throat> so she's doing that um i have been doing local auctions with um the local flea market uh helping the owner out as i've mentioned in previous videos i won't bore you with that again um and the other store that I did show you in a couple videos back was my friend Kevin's sports store, comic store, card store. Uh, if you go back, you'll see that video of inside. I did a little tour. Um, it actually burnt to the ground. Everything is gone. Um, so he's now starting to work building back up his business. So that was pretty crazy. We actually had the opportunity. Uh, we stopped in to say hi and just to see if he was there. And we had an opportunity to walk through the burnt down building and it was like, yeah, it was, what, like inside a volcano yeah, here walking over glass. and everything was wet and it's like minus 30 here yeah. at the time. Um, so everything was frozen and it was just a mess. Yeah. So I feel bad for Kev, but uh, knowing Kevin, he'll be back up and going in no time. So I've had a little bit of contact with him, but he's very busy. So there's that. Um... So other than that, uh, I guess we could just talk about some sales. Do you want to do the sales first or do you want to do some just recent buys? We can do the sales first. Sales? Okay. Yeah. We have sold a lot of stuff, but if we showed you everything we have sold in the last, like, what, two, three months, you would be so bored. <laughs> so <laughs> um, we just picked out a few items just to show you. Um, starting off with Etsy, uh, a Starbucks orange like a florida orange theme uh it was a mug we picked up got it at value village it might have been in a video all this stuff might have been in previous videos i forget totally so yeah, <laughs> you may have seen it mm -hmm. um i picked it up at a garage sale actually didn't i yeah you got yeah. quite a few i've got a whole box of starbucks mugs mm -hmm. and uh these were really unique and um i probably paid about a dollar for each one and got about 12 of them in total so we got $39.98 for that on Etsy, and uh, we'll actually show you a picture of everything we've sold, so all we'll do is say right here. All right, so that was the mug. Uh, next was a polo jacket, got it from a local Goodwill. Um, I paid $4 or $5.99 for it, something like that. Not a lot at all. Um, it was dirty. I threw it in the washing machine, which was a bad idea because it has um, like down the goose feathers in it. So it all clumped together. And I heard this banging downstairs and it was actually the washing machine <laughs> was jumping off the ground because it all just put it into a ball and was just bang, bang, bang. But uh, I rescued it, air dried it, and uh, it sold. For $74.99 shipped on Etsy. If you're not using Etsy, get on Etsy. You can duplicate your eBay listings on Etsy as long as it's vintage. I just had a few things pulled for not being vintage, which, eh, oh well. 
Old Spice mug. <laughs> you know these shaving mugs? You probably see them all the time. Just Old Spice. They're just very thin. They're not like a full-size mug. Um, but you would put your shaving cream in it and you would sh uh, just use your shaver out of it. Um, sold it for $41.98 shipped. Um, actually, we are going to show you the polo jacket, which I forgot to say now. So we're going to show you that now. All right, and now I'm going to show you the Old Spice Did mug. Did you double up the pictures, though? I may have. Okay. Well, I know that these two for sure are okay. on the same shot. Um, well, you will see it all. <laughs> <laughs> because with Etsy, when I took screenshots with my phone, um, if I brought it up individually, it would show all the customer's information. So I took shots on kind of the main page where it didn't show their information, but it also doubled up the listing. So how about we just show you all the Etsy sales right now? It's the Starbucks mugs, $39.98. The polo jacket, $74.99. Old Spice shaving mug, $41.98. Kurt Cobain tribute guitar magazine, $31.99. Puffalumps from Fisher Price. Uh, late 80s, no, more like mid to early 80s, um, sold two of them and one had a rip on it. And I told them I had a rip and they were happy with it. $72.98. We bought them for like a dollar each. It was awesome. Mm. And the Ninja Turtles party hat set, bought a bag at Value Village. It was a couple birthday hats and a, a couple, paper. yeah, paper yeah. plates. So sold them for $38.99. Here it all is <laughs> now. I was just trying to save you some headache. Yeah, Come thanks. <laughs> All right, so that is all the Etsy, which I don't know if we've ever actually shown sales off of Etsy or Maybe just talked like about one it. Maybe like or two. I, I don't know if we've actually shown Because I don't remember ever having to edit a photo. We've two. had a lot of good sales on Etsy, though. Etsy's really. picked up. Yeah. For anyone who's tried Etsy and it wasn't working out before, get back on just it because keep, yeah, it's picking up. It. Yeah, it's doing good. Next, eBay sales, and these will be individual. <laughs> we just have to remember to say now. Okay. That's your job. All right. HP Inc. I bought this in Gananoque, Ontario. I paid about $3. It's a big, like, laser cartridge toners. Um, toner cartridges. Uh, there came two in a pack. So we sold that for $50. And this is it. All right, next up, Italy themed puzzle. Um, we are in the puzzle business. We have shelves of puzzles and games. games it's yeah. nuts. That was kind of Crystal's doing. I never sold puzzles because I hated counting them. Board games, I hated counting board games too. I never bought them. Then when I got onto Amazon, we were in Valley Village one day, and Crystal just, for the heck of it, started scanning. And from that point on, we pretty much only sell puzzles, games, and books on Amazon. But we do good. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyways, this is the Italy theme puzzle, $49.99. Sold it on eBay, which selling a puzzle on eBay, we have not had a lot of luck, but this one we did. So this is what it looked like here. Was that that big giant one? Yeah, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's like 4,000 pieces. But it was new, so we didn't have to count it. That's right. So, thank God. Mm. All right. Snap on ratchet. I got this ratchet out of a bag. It was a tool bag on the shelf at Value Village. I think I paid four ninety nine. It came with a bunch of tools. One piece was a snap on ratchet. I got it out of the bag, and it actually didn't work. Um, the piece that's supposed to ratchet, <laughs> it was just solid. So I put that in the description. I posted it on eBay three times and it was the third time that it sold. Um, actually a guy from Australia wrote me asking how much to ship it. But by the time you ship it to Australia from Canada, it's, there's no point. 
Uh, but this one sold for $32. Take a look. All right. So that's that. Uh, next is, and this is a vintage item. All you kids out there with your MP3 players and your uh, USB sticks. This is what's called a Discman made by Sony. Something us old people would use. Um, and it came with really cool headphones too. They go over the ear. Um, but anyways, $35 for a Discman. Bought it for like two or three ninety nine dollars because people don't think they're worth anything. But those people are losing out. So this is what it looked like there. All right, so that's just an old school Discman. Um, we've had really good luck with the Walkman too. Yeah, the Walkman, the yeah. Sony Walkman. Yeah. On Etsy, if I get a Sony Walkman, um, what was the other one? A Panasonic. We sell them anywhere between fifty and seventy-five dollars. It's and crazy. They're definitely vintage. They are vintage. <laughs> yeah, and they are tested. That's right. Yeah, we even have. Tapes. We know how to use them. That's how old we are. <laughs> Actually, a really good sale we had was on was it etsy and it was a sony mini disc player we're in yeah. value village and we're looking at the wall and crystal kind of looks at the wall and backs up from the wall and i'm like are you done looking what are you doing uh, are you she says, there's nothing here i said well there's got to be something we're in belleville ontario and uh she goes, well, all I found is this thing. And she holds it up. She goes, I don't even know what it is. I'm like, that's a, that's a mini disc player. So I had her look it up and it's like $235. So we put it on and it sold in the first, what, like five days. It was gone. Yeah. And uh, we had a bunch of watches on it. We paid like $4.99 for it. So that was Crystal's score. So that was hers. A learning lesson mm -hmm. and, uh, and a good score. All right, pucks. I bought, because um, I had, as everyone knows, I had the kidney stone. Um, so I was looking for things that I could just put on eBay and just hammer them off and just spend like all day or two days, whatever. Just like constantly not a lot of movement and just easy to do. Turn on the TV and just watch TV while you do it. So I bought a, a what would you call it? A crate? Yeah. Like a milk, milk crate. A milk crate. Yeah. yeah. Bought a milk crate of hockey pucks. So there must have been like, I don't know, 60 pucks in there. I've been selling those for anywhere between, well, we sold some at auction for $9.99, but any of the buy it nows, I had them at $35, and we sold probably five or six at around the $35 mark, and probably another five around $25. So this one here was a Kingston Canadians game used vintage puck, and uh, it came out of that crate. I sold it for $25, but I paid $80 for the entire crate. So this is what the puck looks like. Looks like here. Hmm. All right. So keep your eye on the pucks. There's tons of sports memorabilia fans out there, and they will pay money for what they want. Uh, next, <laughs> I should have brought up the email. I meant to look at the email before I did this. I totally forgot. But I'll give you the gist of it. Oh, okay. I sold a Star Wars lot yesterday. And it was just like um, all the characters from like episode one and episode two, which aren't very popular. So I just lotted up a few things and put it on there for $25. And somebody with three feedback, you know, those new buyers, he sent me an offer for 15 And I think I spent $2 in total. So I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Just get rid of it. So I accepted the offer and I sent him an invoice and a day or two later <laughs> he still hadn't paid but I receive a message from him and it says uh hey dude yeah. <laughs> it starts off with hey dude so hey dude um sorry I lost my visa card so I can't pay for this stuff so if you could please um cancel the order that would be great so instead of hassling him and worrying and fighting over $15 and the guy who starts off with, hey, dude, let's just move this along. <laughs> I canceled it, got my, what, the fees back and whatever. And then after that, so I just reposted it for 25 And now there's actually three watchers on it, which is more watchers than there was the first time. So maybe I'll get another dude. <laughs> here's, what, uh, here's what the lot was. You'll see it. It wasn't a great lot, but here it is.
All right, so there you go. Not much, but uh, for $15, I'll take it. And that's 15 American. So by the time we switch it over to Canadian, that's like 23 bucks. So, all right. Uh, next is just, like I said, a few Amazon sales. Uh, so Lord of the Rings CD set. This had eight CDs. She's smiling because she found it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> right. Again, Value Village in Belleville, Ontario. And... Um, we always look at the CD sets. So mm -hmm. all the, um, there's like the self-help CDs and then there's the story CDs. You may remember we had um, probably about eight different Stephen King ones that we picked yeah, up at the same Value right. Village. They were like four ninety nine each and we were selling them on Amazon for between 30 and $60 a shot. So that was good. And this was another good one. We sold, we paid six ninety nine for this and sold it for eighty nine ninety nine. So that was Crystal's. So. <laughs> Uh, next was a big button phone. Um, we've sold a lot of these big buttons. We have. We've had about four of them. Um, we've sold uh, two local, and uh, we mm -hmm. sold one on Amazon, and then uh, this one also went on Amazon. Thing with this one, everything was new, and um, the box was ripped at the top. So the flap that would fold down has been ripped off, so it was all open. I mentioned that in the listing. The person got it. Everything's good, so they were happy with that. Um, <laughs> let me show you the Lord of the Rings box set right here. <laughs> okay, almost forgot that. Um, so now we're going to show you the big button phone, which you should keep your eye out for because these things always sell. There you go. That is the big button phone. Um, sold a Dell uh, ink cartridge. The only reason why I put that in there is because we pick these up all day long for like a, anywhere from a dollar mm -hmm. to like five dollars. Um, and sometimes there's like two or three in the bag. Y so. Yeah, if you go to Value Village, you'll get the whole bag, yeah. which is great. Um, this one cartridge, we would have paid like two ninety nine for it and uh, sold it for thirty four ninety nine on Amazon. So check it out. All right, so yeah, always scan. I guess I should say scan. Don't just pick them up because some are crap, some you're not going to make any money on. Scan it first, make sure that you are going to make money on it. But for the most part, I think that you're going to do okay. Next, uh, I was in, I think this one was out of Gananoque, and uh, I picked up a, it's funny, this was kind of like a furniture Goodwill, and I was just walking around looking at the furniture, and there was just a book sitting there. So I scanned it and it uh, came up worth quite a bit on Amazon. So I bought it for $2 and sold it for $59.99. It's uh, emergency nursing. It's a school textbook. So um, this is what it looks like. All right, there we go. So textbooks are awesome. But now that we're in February, they're not going to go as good. No. No. Not, yeah. We're probably going to sit on it for a while because a lot of people aren't buying textbooks when school is almost done. So, but that's okay. Somebody will buy it. We just have to wait. Wait. Yeah. Play the waiting game. <laughs> um, there is a board game called Quattro. Quattro? Quarto. Quarto. I call it Quattro. I have my own words for most <laughs> things. I see the first letter and the yeah, last letter and I play fill in the blank in the middle. But she corrects me. Yes. It's quarto. It's kind of my safety net. When whenever we go, <laughs> whenever we go and buy uh, board games now, I just normally fill a cart. He just scans it. If it's good, he throws it in the cart. Let's get going. I start counting them. Crystal counts them now, and uh, most of the time they're not complete. And uh, we probably have about fifteen games, if not more, downstairs that we bought from wherever various places yeah. yeah and they're just not complete so some of them are worth keeping because we were and have been able to um take, take pieces out yeah. of it and complete one that is a complete so and it's worth it like the harry potter game in a metal tin is like a hundred dollar game so mm -hmm. if you can just keep that around fill up the pieces you're good to go but anyways quarto quarto is a really um looks like a maybe it's hard to play but there's only like 
yeah, ten pieces and a board. Pieces, yeah. There's nothing to it. But we've sold two or three of them now. This one sold for $39.99. Um, we always sell this one, so keep your eye out for this game. This is what it looks like here. All right, so that's it. That is Corto. <laughs> All right, and the last one for Amazon was just one that sold, I think, yesterday, the day before. Back to the Future for the Wii, $24.99. Picked it up at Value Village um, for $3.99. So this is what it looks like. All right, so there you go. That's that's just some sales. Um, other than that, we've been selling on Facebook. Again, mostly board games. Yeah, um, especially around Christmas time or before Christmas. Mm -hmm. It was a really good. Disney. Yeah. Disney monopolies. Uh, Harry Potter. Oh, seen it. Oh my gosh, like seen it all the time. Uh, Trivial Pursuits sold a lot of those, but the themed ones. If you just sell the ordinary ones, they're not going to go as fast. So look for the Disney ones, the Harry Potter ones, um, and the Trivial Pursuit Genius. We've sold a couple of them, so that's a good one as well. All right, so what else? Uh, oh, we found out that we can sell used toilet paper on Amazon. <laughs> I don't know what made me scan it, but it was in the, in the hallway, and I picked up the bag, and I just scanned it, and it came up that we could sell it, and I thought that's pretty cool because we were just approved to sell grocery and whatever. So we scanned it, and... Uh, it came up we could sell it so I figured when you click condition it would say new but you could actually sell it in um, acceptable <laughs> I don't know what acceptable toilet paper is but don't buy that from Amazon <laughs> don't just look for new um, but yeah I thought I would just mention that because I thought it was pretty funny and we did put a Facebook post about that up and uh, I think a few people got a laugh about that so yeah. so check us out on Facebook and check us out on Instagram reseller life is I think both handles, isn't it? Reseller Life on Facebook, but it's Reseller Life Canada on Instagram because oh. it wouldn't let me. Somebody see. scooped the American Reseller Life. Mm. We are Reseller Life. <laughs> um, all right, so over the last couple of days, uh, we've just picked up a few things to uh, sell. Um, so we just we have a giant pile, but we just picked out a few pieces just to show you. Um, the first is the Disney Seen It. Uh, on Amazon, this sells for $27. Locally, I've sold them for $35. So it's a good one. If it's complete, there's a lot of pieces, a lot of cards. Um, but yeah, that's a good one to keep your eye out for. Uh, what one you got next? We got Scriblish? Yep. Scriblish. Scan this one, Amazon, $50. So we paid probably $3.99 at Value Village and it'll go for $50. Now all of this will be FBA. This stuff actually is in an FBA um, ready to go for tomorrow. I just have to box it up. Today's a holiday in Canada so we can ship it. So it'll go tomorrow. Um, then we got Funglish. We, have, we had Scriblish. Now we have Funglish. Um, $83 in Canada on Amazon. And again, all board games from Value Village are like $3.99. I guess they're sometimes $2.99 as well. So that will be a good uh, profit. Ice rink. $4.04. They scan up at $52 a piece. Brand new in the box. So they're going to be new. Um, they'll be FBA. And I bought two of them. There's actually two of them there. And that's an ice rink. Again, not a good time of year to sell an ice rink as the rain's now coming and washing away all that, but oh well. Now yeah, we'll probably see more snow. Oh, I don't know. I like the snow. Yeah, no, I don't know why you're, sometimes you don't like the I snow. I was mad when I thought we had our first, or our last snowfall. I said to Crystal, yeah. I hope this isn't winter. Like, when was it? Like the We've end of January. We've had winters since November. This has been a long winter. That's okay. Our winters have and short and now this one's lasted a while i'd rather have the cold than the heat uh we did crash our jeep i know i was just actually gonna say we should talk about that we didn't write that down yeah just a little intermission here um we did we crashed our jeep well we didn't crash it we were just coming yeah. around a corner 
And the guy was coming around another corner and uh, he did not have control of his vehicle at all. He hit his brakes and just kept sliding and we pretty much sat there and watched as he bounced off of us. So the Jeep was gone for... Uh, three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. We had a cool rental though. Yeah. Well, loaded. Good. It was a loaded Dodge yeah. Journey. It brand was pretty new. cool. Yeah, brand new. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. But uh, kind of happy to see the Jeep back though. I like the four-wheel drive. The Journey had the all-wheel drive, but driving in some of those conditions, it wasn't as good, I guess. Mm -hmm. but... Which is why I'm over winter. I'm ready for summer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So um, maybe we'll put in a picture of the crashed Jeep. Yeah, no, I will. Okay, let, here's, here's what happened to the Jeep. There you go. So that's that's what happened. Um, Forty two hundred dollars in damage. Yeah, the bill from the body shop forty two hundred dollars. We didn't pay a cent. Nope. And the rental was how much? Uh, sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred for us to have a rental. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. And they made us return it with gas though. That. Wow. <laughs> how dare they? I know, right? We, did... <laughs> we had to pay what fifty two dollars in gas. I think. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Fifty two dollars. All right, next, Monopoly cards. This, we just scanned it, and we normally sell these for around $12, nonstop, nonstop. I just sold one on FBA, like, maybe a week ago, and now we're going to send this one in. We just scanned this one. It comes up $26. So they've actually, um, I guess all the cheap ones have sold, and now they're getting more expensive. So when that hits FBA, I'll probably go in and rechange the price to, uh, I don't know, maybe like nineteen ninety nine or something like that. So that was good. Uh, what do you got? Starcraft? We got Starcraft. Just hold them both up. Two and Starcraft one. Go this way, maybe. So Starcraft two sells for twenty five bucks and Starcraft one sells for thirty bucks. And we would have paid about two or three ninety nine at Value Village. We also check these and make yes. sure that they're complete because they're the worst. Well, I put them in the cart. Then when yes. we get to the cash and we meet up, Crystal checks them. <laughs> Because I forget. I just, I just, I'm just in buy and mode. We've picked up so many where there's like a missing disc. We had one that you got. Missing had discs, one yeah. One missing disc, yeah. And once you don't have that disc, yeah, or if the code's missing, you're dead in the water. Yeah. So it's just garbage. Again, you could take it back, but I don't know. We never get around to taking it back. We probably should, but I don't know. Too busy. <laughs> what do you got? Lord of the Rings? This game was bought at the same time as the other ones, uh, $51. Lord of the Rings, Middle Earth, the battle for Middle Earth. And we picked up two of them. Yeah. One yeah. has the manual and one does not have the manual. That's probably my fault, but whatever, 51 bucks paid like three ninety nine. <laughs> so we're making money on the one to cover both of them. So actually I'll still put the other one on Amazon. I have done this before with, uh, it was a PlayStation game. And I just put no manual included, but what kid reads a manual anyways? And yeah, it I've, sold and never had a problem. Yeah. All the years I've been playing games, Nintendo, I've like never everything, out never. A manual no. either. You learn as you go. So it sold anyways, and they were happy. So A Violent End. Now, in this one, the inside cover, which I found out when oh, I was yes. taking pictures for FBA, is actually hand signed by the author, which I had no idea about. Uh, this book sells for $21, um, not signed. So we could ask a little bit more if we wanted to, maybe $29.99, see what happens. It has a good ranking as well, so it should go fast. I bought that at a Bibles for Missions. Uh, Mad Math. Mad Math. Sealed, brand new, person bought it, never used it. And it looks kind of vintage too, which is kind of funny. Yeah. Um, $54 on Amazon, so we paid... Uh, Two ninety nine for that, probably in around there. So fifty four bucks. Um, what'd you get? What are, uh, piano we got a piano book. Piano book. Uh, two discs in the back. It's complete. Looks like it's never been used. Um, Twenty seven dollars on Amazon. And again, we would have paid. Well, this was Bibles for Missions, so this was probably like a dollar fifty. So that's really good. Hello Kitty. Mm -hmm. This is the bat. Hello yeah. Kitty. Um, it is $48. Can you believe that on Amazon.ca? $48 for that thing. 
We've had good luck with We have. We've sold Peppa Pigs for way more than we thought we could get. Um, we had that backyard again. Two backyardians, I think. Yeah. yeah, and they sold for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks a piece, which is crazy. I don't know who would pay that, but whatever. Keep paying it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, this one goes for $48. We'll probably put ours on there for like $24.99 or $29.99 just to pump it out. And uh, sitting at $48 is kind of unrealistic to me. Maybe somebody would pay that for it. I don't know, but I'll be happy with $24 or $29.99. Uh, we have a, yeah, a bunch of different records that we um, just picked up. Where did we get those? You just got them? Value oh, Village. No, it was at um, the uh, one on Division. The... Oh, uh, Good Way. Yes. Uh, right. Okay, yeah. There's a little thrift shop in Kingston called um, the Good Way. And uh, we get a lot of stuff from there as well. But uh, these are all just different vintage records mm -hmm. and um, I've put them in the FBA as well and they will all go for between 20 and $50 depending on the record. That's Willie Nelson. That is Willie. That's a young Willie. That's a young Willie. <laughs> Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> Self-titled. There's Meatloaf. Yeah. The kids never see Meatloaf before and I put on Paradise <laughs> by the Dashboard Light on YouTube on the TV the other day and after about 30 seconds they picked back up their iPod and started playing <laughs> they had enough of that yeah. mm -hmm. um, and last but not least is this crazy CD there's four of them on amazon.ca four of them on amazon.com the cheapest one on Canada is $1,200 and the cheapest one in the USA is $900 so the other day I put them on uh, for $300 on America $300 on .ca and we just checked it tonight, and the listings are gone. Yeah, the listings are gone. So I don't know why. I didn't get a pricing error or anything like that. So I don't know. I'm going to repost that tonight, and hopefully tomorrow we have another $300 in the bank. We'll see. I guess that's it. Yeah. We are done. So, yeah, I guess that wraps things up. Um, this week, Crystal is on reading week. So we plan on doing some picking. We plan on doing some driving. We plan on... Uh, Maybe going to Algonquin Park. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to have fun and uh, we definitely will tape it all. If you guys want to see videos, maybe of not even thrifting, but just like us being out, like going to Algonquin or whatever, mm -hmm. um, let us know. Let us know if you would enjoy something like that. Um, and we'll definitely throw the camera on while we're, while we're driving around. You get to see all the different parts of Northern Ontario. Uh, be a lot of fun. Um, if not, then fine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh we'll see what happens this week but we do have like i was saying some new fans um uh, we've been getting some comments a lot of positive feedback mm -hmm. um on facebook uh, and instagram so we're gonna try to keep up with it uh we slacked there for a little while but things just got really busy yeah. christmas and everything else so but i'm not here to make excuses so we are going to try to keep up with it even if crystal's at school i might even just turn on the camera if I'm out and uh, try not to get thrown out of a store for taping. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, have a good night and uh, happy family day, not Canada yeah, day. day. And uh, we will see you possibly tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Not going to promise anything. Bye.